There, I got a crew crowd. Ah, yeah, there we go. We got sound now. <laughs> hey, I've seen that backyard. <laughs> So I, I just introduced you to all my friends uh, in Winnipeg, but I don't think you heard us. Uh, this is Uncle Wild. No, I didn't. From BC. I, I did yeah, and we got uh, Jen here in Winnipeg. She's our quiz master, and uh, I'm kind of running the Zoom thing, and Aaron is uh, taking the quiz as well. <laughs> <laughs> did you find the button there, Jen? No. Gallery, gallery view? Okay, there you go. So if you click that, it'll show everybody in a, in a little window, but otherwise it'll... Uh, It'll just decide who you want to see and make it make it big. Whoever's talking usually is uh, is big. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, Lyle, do you have a do you have a computer or are you are you using a phone for this? Uh, phone for Zoom, computer in front of me, sort of. Oh, okay, you must have read the read them, got the memo. Yeah, that's yeah. excellent. Yeah, oh. the computer doesn't have a microphone that's working or a camera, so. Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, that's going to work because you're going to need a computer to get the answers and you're also need a computer to enter the answers in the quiz. So uh, Jen's going to put a link up here. Hang in, on. in the chat and we'll all have to open that. Uh, okay. So I do. Hello, oh, Ben. No. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Okay. Uh, copy. Does my computer need to be hooked up to Zoom or something different for the quiz? Uh, something different for the quiz. But in the Zoom chat, um, uh, Jen's going to put a link in there. So you might have to look on your phone and then type type this in on your computer. No. Oh, okay. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I got steak going behind me in the barbecue too, so I got to keep an eye on it. Or I'll have smoke. <laughs> there you go. Yum. <laughs> oh, that's not right. Yeah, that oh. works. Hi, Michael. Hello. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm I'm doing all right. And uh, let's see, my teenagers are teenagers. Uh huh. <laughs> they're, yeah. <laughs> they're not uh, they're not hurt too bad. It's okay. And uh, yeah. my wife my wife's off work still, so she's uh, getting kind of frustrated with that. Okay. But, so. Uh, well, hopefully she'll go back pretty soon. <laughs> mm, no, she's thinking of making some moves, so that that's a good thing too. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so you're doing a thing on the Civil War? Um, the trivia or? Well, uh, like the Indo independence and Civil War. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, see how Lyle does. <laughs> oh, <laughs> looking after her steaks and doing well, this. Oh, you're making steaks while he does this. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, pregame supper. Mmm. Canada's team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jen just put the put the link in the chat, but I just I just DM'd it to you on Twitter, so that might be easier. If you go on Twitter on your computer, you can just click on the link and then open the quiz up. And I'm gonna do that too. Uh, 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 do, 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 do. I actually forgot about the Connects playing tonight. I've been watching the Raptors game, so. Oh, I never got into Raptors. My my Maple Leaf hates extends to the Raptors and the Argos and the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anything else? The Marlies, you know, like I. I take it pretty far. <laughs> I make an exception for the Raptors. I mean, I'm not a big fan of basketball, but every now and then it's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, security. I'm allowing you guys to share the screen. So when you're, uh, once Jen um, answers, asks the, puts the question up, uh, you've got five minutes to answer. So that gives you lots of time to go on your computers and find out the answer. And, uh, you know, after we're done, then we can talk about it and see if you, if there's anything that you found interesting, like you, you like to share with the others, then we can do that. I've turned on screen sharing. So you can, in the Zoom, you can put your web browser up instead of your face and show us what you want to want to talk about if you're uh, techie or you can just talk. That's, that's fine too. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm logged into Crowdper. I don't know, can you, Jen, can you see how many are in? 
Oh, I'll just open. looks like we're going live. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. I can't figure out. Do I do like, oh, poop. This is the test question. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't, where's my. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to put on the thinking music here while we think about the test question. Okay. It says, what was the abolitionist movement? A, I don't know. B, Michael's a poo-poo head. C, the movement to end slavery. D, mmm, donuts. Can't answer. I got that funny circle with the slash through it. Yeah, I'm getting that same thing too. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. All right. Seconds. Your I'm host will activate the question. Uh, oh. How about now? Giving percentages. What the heck? So none of you are able to answer. No, uh, no it's so kind of what happened last pilot. time in our dry run, but it it went away part way through. I think you fixed it. Yes. Somehow. The host. There we go. Cast, Cast your, your answer now. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, I still can't. It. Oh, there we. Go. What the heck? Still not letting me answer. For real. Yeah, still got that big. Do not enter sign, eh? Yep. That's because you're trying small. to click B, that's why. If you go to C, it might let you jail. Oh, that might be it. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. What did you do, Jen? That's the secret. I clicked show live answer results. Hmm. That's so now you can do that. Now you can all answer? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there are three of you playing. We have three votes for the movement to end slavery, which is correct. Ooh, that looks good. All right. The steak looks so delicious. Okay, are we ready for the next question? The real one, yes. Here we go. Which was the first American abolitionist organization? The Washington City Anti-Slavery Society? The Society for the Relief of Free Negroes Unlawfully Held in Bondage? The Worcester County Anti-Slavery Society? Or the American Abolition Society? The first American abolitionist organization. Not letting answer. What the heck? I did not change a thing. It's funny me now. Oh, here we go. It works. Woohoo! It works. It's alive. So far, I have two votes. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Someone's Google's not working. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know the answer because I wrote the quiz. So I was, uh, right. yeah, I was waiting for them. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and the answer was Society for the Relief of Free Negroes Unlawfully Held in Bondage. It's a long name, isn't it? Serpenwab. <laughs> did anyone know that uh, before tonight? I did not know that. Yeah. Nope. I now know. I know. Yeah, you know. And that's why we're here. Yeah. That is right. Why? Oh, my God. That is right. And all the other three uh, choices were real as well, but... Uh, Okay. Okay. 
Next question. Which founding father was the president of that organization? Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Samuel Adams, or Thomas Jefferson? One vote is in. Two votes are in. And there we go. There we go. Okay, on to question four. Ooh. Who's quoted to drag a man in fetters into the grand illuminated temple of liberty and call upon him to join you in joyous anthems were inhuman mockery and sacrilegious irony? Is it Martin Luther King Jr., Jesse Jackson, Booker T. Washington, or Frederick Douglass? We have one vote in. And two. And three. It was Frederick Douglass. All right. Good job, everyone. <laughs> my my, my B choice. I mean, uh, not the answers, but the, the standings. <laughs> Just waiting for him to come back. Yeah, he's uh, looking at the stakes there. Nice of him to do this right at dinner time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, yeah, well, there's a two hour difference, right? So, yeah. Exactly. We can work with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay, shall I move on? Uh, no, no. Uh, no, okay, you let me know. I, I don't have gallery view. I suspect it's because I'm in a browser. But I'm in a browser so that I can have the two windows open, Crowdper yeah. and Zoom. So oh, okay. yep. otherwise I can't. I don't think he's back yet. Okay. There he is. Okay. Hey, um, Jen, show us the standings. I, I want to see who's uh, who's winning the hot chocolate so far. Mm. <laughs> so I click on show rankings leaderboard. Exactly. Show ranking leaderboard. There you go. Okay. Hey, I got zero points. I'm in. Zero points. So Aaron is winning. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it's not showing me because, again. Yeah, because you... Yeah, but the Chilliwack corn is done and the steak is almost done. So we're doing good. Okay. Sounds awesome. Okay, question five. Which personal effect did Lincoln's widow, Mary Lincoln, give to Frederick Douglass? His hat, his cane, his cup, or his program for the, from the Ford Theater? Well, I don't think it's D. That would be a little bit morbid. A little on the nose. Oh. Oh, it helps to submit the answer. 
Oops. Two votes. Two votes? Yep. And three. The answer was his cane. I don't remember his cup being of any significance. No. <laughs> no, I Googled a long time looking for a fourth option that would, you know, kind of, you know, tease people's brains, but I, that's all I could come up with. I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Jane, I remember, but. Okay, let's. Oh, never mind. Number Maybe six. next time. <laughs> Alrighty. Which, which of these books do some feel started the Civil War? <laughs> Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl, Harriet Jacobs, Benito Sereno, Herman Melville, Uncle Tom's Cabin, Harriet Beecher Stowe, or My Bondage and My Freedom, Freedom Frederick Douglass. Bless my stuff. Holy... What are you doing, Penny? Oh, is that Penny? <laughs> She's just watching here. I don't know if you can see her. How are you doing? Well, terrible, but okay, anyway. You having fun? I actually learned I can cheat and just figured that out. <laughs> so I might get one answer right. Oh. We have two votes. Okay. Show us the standings after, Jen. We have three votes. The answer was Uncle Tom's Cabin, Harriet Beecher Stowe. And the standings. Yeah. I want to see if Uncle Lyle got, a, got any. Yeah, he's getting okay. points now. I got a point. You got to okay. click uh, Submit Answer. I think that's what. Uh... I, I for, totally forgot about Google. I was doing it out of my brain, which is pretty oh. flat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, give you five minutes. It's a different kind of trivia. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, question yeah. seven. Come on, laptop. Who introduced the Kansas Nebraska Act repealing the Missouri Compromise? Salmon Portland Chase, David Wright, sorry, David Rice Atchison, John C. Calhoun. Or Stephen A. Douglas, which I'm assuming is no relation because there is a different spelling for Douglas. Oh, they, they yeah, give me a second here. We have two votes. I'm thinking. Okay, I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> I thought you knew. I all these names sound familiar. <laughs> I do remember what uh, like how how significant this was from my research, but I don't remember the names. Like I'm not good with that kind of history. Um, okay, well we have two correct votes and one incorrect. The correct answer. <laughs> oh, <was> no. <laughs> oh no! Oh uh, no! Did anyone know this before tonight? Nope. Had anyone? I did not tonight okay so let me tell you what uh, this is all about uh, the Missouri compromise allowed one northern state to join the join the Union 
but they had to have a uh, sovereign state as well at the same time so that uh, the balance of power wouldn't be um, messed up because the okay. sovereign worried that there, if there were more northern votes than southern votes, they would uh, end the slavery, right? And that was a big, uh, big problem for them. So um, when this was uh, repealed, it was kind of like another, uh, you know, another uh, thing that made the Civil War kind of uh, inevitable. So it's uh, something you can read about uh, more if you're curious. Or in the okay. Facebook, there's a video all about it there. So it's those uh, courses from Yale. And that's, uh, that's about 40 minutes. And it's uh, it kind of goes through all the politics. But if you think the, the US politics are messed up and divided and polarized now, like, it's, it's just more of a pretty thing. hard, hardcore back then. Like we had assassinations and we had all kinds of crazy stuff and then actual war and killing and stuff, right? So it's, uh, um, things are amazing they call themselves united but that's a weird comment but yeah <laughs> that's a good part point. of their history to be confused or to be messed up <laughs> mm. politically i guess or okay well, let's move on to question eight Which Union City rioted in 1863, leaving hundreds of African Americans dead and thousands homeless? Washington, Cincinnati, New York, or Philadelphia? Big ones, little ones. Chug oh, yeah. <laughs> so I close this. I close this. I open the door into the garage. I left the front door open or closed, but the window at the back was like a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. I guess I gotta get food. Okay, we have two votes so far. Oh, and three. So the correct answer was New York. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty crazy. It, like New York's uh, in the north. Yeah, but mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, they're, so it wasn't all uh, you know divided uh, north south. There was uh, a lot of you know hatred on both sides. I just say. <laughs> okay. I'll quickly show you your leaderboard. There you go. All right. And question nine. What was the name of the orphanage burned down in the New York draft riots? Joseph's Orphan Asylum, the Colored <laughs> Orphan Asylum, Bless you. The Howard Orphanage and Industrial School, or the Folk and Long Institute for Orphan Girls? Nobody's coming to see us tonight, Benny. Let's just see. What the frost? We have two votes in. And three. There we go. The answer was the Colored Orphan Asylum. 
Too bad. Does anyone know why they called it the draft riots? Did you see that in your Googling? Or, or I did not. Um, I um, thought that would have something to do with the Vietnam War, but it didn't make sense to me. Yeah, they were, um, they were drafting uh, people from New York, well, from, from the northern cities to, to fight in the Civil War. So that was the idea, unless you could pay um, for an exemption. And so pretty much everybody who had money would pay to not have to fight. Uh, so the only people who were going to fight were, were poor people. And then- um, How about if you just said you had burnt bone spurs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. So it, it got uh, really fired up and when they, when they rioted, they started by attacking the, um, uh, the army actually. Um, but then they um, went, went, all, went on a lynching spree because uh, a lot of people were worried about the um, African-Americans coming north and taking their jobs. That was, uh, they've been saying that for hundreds and hundreds of years. It was going on back then. So uh, once everything got out of control, it was, uh, it was some real awful stuff. And then children died too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it says the policeman okay, was killed too, <laughs> leading them out. Hmm. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Final, Final question. question. Final question. Oh my goodness, what's what's the standings? What's Can anyone catch standings? catch Aaron? There, there's the leaderboard. The final question is: How many orphans died in that oh. fire? Two hundred points to catch Aaron. Okay, I'm going to answer quick here. Uh, <laughs> I know this. Zero, uh, uh, A, zero, B, one to 100, C, 101 to 200, or D, more than 200? Not letting me answer, it's just showing me the winning ranking, so. It sounds like one of my Twitter polls, doesn't it? Hang on. <laughs> okay. There you Tell go. <laughs> I'm laughing about it. Well, it's interesting because on the dashboard, it doesn't let me both show that and start the question. So, yeah, I still see the leaderboard, but there's a, there's sometimes there's a big lag. On it. <coughs> All good. <coughs> well, I can see the correct answer. But I don't see any votes. Our voting screen isn't there. Oh, it's not for anybody? Just the rankings is showing up. Okay. Um, there we go. She got it. There we go. Sorry about that. He's all good. And we have three votes. The correct answer was zero. Oh. Ah. That made me happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. That is happy. Hey, question. Do you guys see, um, do you see me or do you see a logo in my page here? I see both. Oh, okay. I've got, because I've got it kind of down to do the Google, I only see the, uh, the logo, but it's, it's in a really small screen, so yeah. for me right now. Okay, so you don't see my face. You see a, like a, a TNTN logo, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I see when I'm in minimized. Yeah. Okay, and now, and now you don't, right? Now, now it's just you. Okay, uh, just, just uh, if you can indulge me and just answer a question. While I'm talking, um, can you guys hear music on your yeah. end? Is this, I do hear music. Is it yeah. better than with the logo like, or the same? 
That's the thing. I could not hear the music before. Oh, okay, good. I, I will do it the easy way and just play the music without sharing my logo. <laughs> there is something, uh, something I read about Zoom where I can share audio, but I had to point iTunes to, to my screen or something like that. So mm -hmm. I'll just stop. You were there. sharing your screen because I could see the logo, but I could also see you. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, I'm getting better. Here we have it. Oh, was that the last question? Yes, sir. Oh, who won? <laughs> Show us. <laughs> who gets the hot chocolate? Uh, First interprovincial shipment here going on. That that would be pretty exciting. The results are third place Lyle with 350 oh, okay. points. <laughs> Okay. Second place is Mike with 623 points. First place goes to Aaron with oh, 724 points. Aaron. Congratulations, Aaron. Let me Thank screen you. grab this so I can brag about her on Twitter. <laughs> but I hype this up. So if, it would be great if you guys could invite your friends for next time. And I hope you all had fun. If you learned something, that's great. If you're curious about... Uh, something that you learned a tiny little bit about that's even better so just go on the facebook because there's some resources there and you can read up on more stuff and uh i would be great to see you back next time and i, I kind of like that it's small you know because this uh we're probably going to get pretty pretty busy as this grows well until i figure out this gallery thing i'm glad it's small too <laughs> <laughs> yeah once you get past nine people the screen gets really tiny mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm not paying for the uh, Zoom upgrade, so it's gonna gonna have to stay small. And the quiz <laughs> is limited to like 20 people, I think, like, before I unless I, I start paying money to them, which I'm not gonna do. So, well, let's have fun, anyways, right? I mean, and to learn. So, mm -hmm. fun and thought provoking, and I'll be checking out those videos between now and next time. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Very yeah, good. Hey, has anybody done that? Um, uh, U of Alberta course that uh, we talked about last week. No, mm -hmm. Barb and I were doing it together. Uh, last night was our uh, first time. We didn't do it together very well. We had to we had to leave the room so we could both think. But it was uh, it was uh, <laughs> it was good. And then we missed uh, the Instagram live uh, thing on every Sunday. But next week we'll uh, we'll try to do, try to catch it. That was uh, it was full by the time I tried to sign up. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't bother to try signing up, knowing it was. Well, Janet said it was full, so I didn't see the point of me trying. <laughs> so. Okay, kids. All right. <laughs> Until next time. All right. See you guys next time. See you the next time. Congratulations, Aaron. We'll try to give lots of notice next time, too. This for is sure. Okay. Keep it up. We'll maybe add a few people. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, let's all invite everybody we know and uh, see what happens, right? Exactly. Okay, thanks again. Right. Bye. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Okay.